Hello my fellow goobers and welcome back to Dying Light 2. If you guys have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, then there are a couple of cards you can click above to watch other playlists. If you think there's anything I can do better, then let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, there are a shit ton of zombies and I'm pretty sure this is the way to go in order to get that um in order to get the inhibitor to increase my stamina so I can finally climb. Oh wow, okay then thanks for your words of motivation. Alrighty then, our main man Aiden is feeling empowered, doesn't want to be a chicken, he's a ruthless killer now, so let's use it. Alright, we found the GRE thing. There's a fidget spinner as well. Oh, I didn't want to pick this up first, but alright. They are limited. There's no fucking way, and you need three of them per upgrade, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. And how convenient, this one has all three. Yo, where was this man pointing that syringe? That looked hella sus. Okay, stamina. Can I not get the health thing instead? No, I get. Oh yeah, we need more stamina to climb the elevator, right? Of course, it's scripted. Immunity is at five minutes. Definitely get health next. Yo, I legit thought that he stabbed himself with that syringe in the dick. Go back to the elevator. My God, that looked. Hella sus. Okay, we got some antibiotics. We got some shoes. Hey, look at that. They got auto-equipped. That's nice. That's very handy and convenient. Okay, I'm, I think we had to use the door on our left to get out of here. So let me just... Yep, this is the way we came from. Let's see how much easier it is to climb this thing. Okay. Well, we didn't have all that much stamina left to spare, which doesn't seem all that great, but you know what? I'll allow it. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? About that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Oh shit, then. Alright. Run. Run. I am running. I can't run faster than this. Use those jumps. Oh my god. If that slowed me down and caused my death, I'm gonna be pissed. Of course, now we have a volatile on our ass as well. My god, run Aiden. Fucking book it. Run like you've never run before. We're almost there. What the hell? Okay, we made it, thank god. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? Huh? I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into him. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? 
Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Pfft, fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the roots. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. All right, let's see what he wants to show us. What's up? What do you want to show Here. me? You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Okay, seems like we have binoculars. How do I use them? Okay, you can find all this stuff on the map. Okay, seems simple enough. Okay, we got you the windmill. The That's where the howlers George. Were after us. I don't see it's no George right district. now. Okay, so this binocular thing is really weird because you usually get vibrations to see if you're closer or not, and you're not getting it here. And it's really difficult because you have to like find the exact spot and then it zooms in and you're given no indication if you're close or not apart from this like your screen tinting a bit which is not enough uh -huh. like some visual i mean some haptic feedback would also be nice you can find notice boards with missing people around the city one of them is near the church maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there and if not just have fun the world's already ended right how could things get any worse I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. Okay, then so can we explore this world now? I guess we can. Alright, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna go to that windmill. We get the high ground, we get to see if there's more stuff we can um, see from the high ground, unlock some new shit. So yeah, I'm gonna do that first. Welcome to Villador, alright. So I guess the open world has opened to us now, officially. Um, yeah, all of this seems simple enough. Yep, let's just get to that windmill. Alright, we made it to the windmill. Now we need to get up the windmill. Alright, this windmill doesn't seem all that high, but... Um, yep, I love, like, I love things like this, they're so cool. Oh, what the what the hell was that jump? My god, I didn't even get any upgrade for that. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I went right off. My god. There's a surprising amount of screen tearing that's happening, which I don't know why it's there, but whatever, I guess. Nothing I can do about it. Also, the game had a 20 GB day one patch. So, yeah.
windmills in faction structures okay activate windmills get a safe house okay faction structures and facilities okay seems simple enough since we have the high ground let's see what else we can find i really need some like haptic feedback so i can know if i'm close or not because this is like quite difficult because you have to find the exact spot and I, I don't know what to look for. I'm not getting any help. Hello? This is so frustrating. Few moments later. Well, I found a few more um, windmills. So I went and activated them. And now I'm on my way to the church where we have to go. Oh, what is this? Everyone, this can't sit. Is Sarah. Okay, now I can sit. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um. Hi, Sarah. Is this some alcohol anonymous? Today, some AA Sarah meeting or something? To share with us. Yeah. Okay. I I Sarah, guess it is something like that. Begin. I'll let you guys have your privacy. Yeah. I'll go towards the church. Then I got beer in 2024. She said, "Got beer or got bitten." I'm not 100 percent sure at this time. And that was the active landing upgrade. I managed to get that after clearing some windmills. I say some, but I've just done two. And I thought I'd show you guys how traversal is in this game. Oh, there was a slight FPS problem there. But yeah, I, f I mean, it feels great. I feel like a parkour athlete, even though I'm nowhere near as good in real life. I can't do this. Like look at this jump he's made. I didn't even need that electrical like thing. And look at that. He made it look easy. 140 Sometimes meters away from the church. Look at this. Yeah, so I also notice if you just press circle and then press circle again, you don't even need to slide. You'll instantly go through these things and you'll keep up your momentum. And I really like how um, colorful and lush the rooftops are because Dying Light 1, the color scheme was just grey. At least now there's some color which is nice. And we made it to the church. Alrighty then, let's see what we have here. Safe zone, that's nice to know. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Let's see if we can help him in any way. Meet the people. Yes, let's talk to him. Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. 
but life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Okay, so it seems you got a new side quest. That's nice. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Okay, this guy right here. That's nice. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? But well, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Goddamn PKs. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. And we have another side quest. Okay. Seems like there's a lot of content in this game. Yes, merchant weapons. Yep, got it. That's fine. Oh my god, I can't afford any of this. Are you kidding me? I have... I have 15 currency. Nice. Brilliant. Outstanding. Oh god. Okay. Also I read that this game has a total, like, you can spend up to 500 hours in this game which is absolutely insane. So I, yeah let's, I don't think there's gonna be that much content but I will be insanely surprised if there's 500 hours worth you of content like in this game. In need of the best. Craftmaster, okay so this guy gives blueprints? Yeah he does, oh no he upgrades the blueprints you have 
probably does both fire arrows venom flame empowerment okay let's uh, find some more npcs to talk to well, i guess we found the notice board thingy looking at all the dead people that says here they're missing same difference they never find them anyway yeah then why the board it's been 15 years many people disappeared back then my neighbor lost his two kids, but life goes on. Except, nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague. But given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger? Or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Okay, so we still have to meet some more people in the bazaar, and we still have a lot of... And we have a lot of side missions to do now, but we are going to get into them another time. That's going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I will be uploading the next part of the series very soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all then. Goodbye, stay safe.